Welcome Sagittarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message around your twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom cards so let's have a look at them. Sagittarius, your first crowning message is forgiveness, dark night of the soul and action. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel that either you or your twin flame uh, is seeking forgiveness and this could be forgiveness of themselves, forgiveness of you or vice versa as they're going through the dark night of the soul. And I feel that they are being encouraged right now to take action big time um, in order to go through this transformation and come out of this darkness into the light. And Sagittarius, this could be you, but for some reason, I just feel that this is your twin flame. For your crowning wisdom message, you have 717. An encounter with your twin flame could be on the horizon. 777. Honour your shadow self and let it reveal any hidden mysteries to you. A completion is near. And 1000. Go within. Your angels have a special message they would like to share with you. Sagittarius, I feel as though you may know who your twin flame is, but you're most definitely not in union. And I feel that this encounter that's coming through is going to be very grounding with the red, which is your root chakra. But evidently, they need to... Um, do some shadow work. You may need to do some shadow work yourself, Sagittarius, and because there may be things that are uh, being revealed. With regards to your twin flame, I feel that they are near the completion, hence why this action, I feel they are taking the action that they need to take uh, in order to work through that dark night of the soul. And I feel that this is all to do with their heart chakra. They could have a fear of commitment. Um, they, you know, may not be very good with expressing how they feel. But I feel as though they are addressing this. With the forgiveness, there may be something that... I almost feel it's something that they're, try they're seeking forgiveness for themselves. Because... You guys are not really in union. For you to be having an encounter with them um, and it's on the horizon tells me that, you know, this may be an acquaintance, a, a, a chance encounter, um, but you will know them as soon as you meet them. It's as though you're just going to feel, feel totally grounded and I feel that they may be totally grounded, but they're obviously going through a dark night of the soul. And I feel the forgiveness that they're asking for is of themselves. Either you or your twin flame, I feel divine is guiding you to connect with your higher self, connect with the universe. Go within. I mean, this is almost kind of like the quartz of you know the clarity um of your crown chakra um connecting with divine and i feel that as you do so uh you will probably receive messages um signs synchronicities which is a special message for you uh sagittarius i feel It could be a message for your twin flame um, as they are coming through this dark night of the soul. But let's have a look and see what your cards say. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, 
Please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love during their twin flame journey? Week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Sagittarius that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. We have stuck. Wow. Okay. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. We have tribe. Please, can you tell me, how does the twin flames of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing. Thank you. We have signs. Interesting, isn't it? Um, Sagittarius, the cards that are coming out. Admired. I feel as though you've triggered this person, you know, Sagittarius. Definitely recognising you as their soul tribe in some shape, form or another. Wow, okay, that flew out. And that is settling. Okay, Sagittarius. I feel that the person that you are connecting with, that you're associating as your twin flame, I feel as though... It's somebody that you haven't fully properly met yet. You may know them. Um, you They may be an acquaintance, a chance um, meeting. Um, but I feel for this week that you may meet them again. You know, it could be one of those situations where, you know, you, you see somebody at a bus stop or on a train or, you know, in an office building or, you know, online you know somebody that a friend of a friend on their social media um you may you know sort of connect or there's just something about this person that you know of you know of them you may not have even spoken to them um but i feel as though that right now they are certainly um going through that dark night soul of um dark night of the soul part of their twin flame um journey um to you and it, it seems as if there's a lot of work that needs to be done um for sure but they are taking the action um and i do definitely feel that the forgiveness that they are seeking is forgiveness of themselves they're trying to forgive themselves for something right now they are feeling stuck in the mud not sure which way to go, but they know that they need to get out of this rut. In the same way that you may have just had this chance encounter, they've noticed you for sure. And they do recognise that there is a very deep tribal connection with you. They may not have associated it as a twin flame connection, but they definitely have recognised who you are. And I feel that they are getting signs and synchronicities going within as they're going through this dark night of the soul. And the messages that they may be receiving are around you, I feel. And they just have absolute admiration for you. But they feel that if they come towards you right now, that you may just settle, that they would be settling for not coming to you in the way in which they want to 
and I feel that this saddens them, which is why they are, are seeking forgive, forgiveness. They may be seeking forgiveness from you on a soul level, um, Sagittarius, because right now they can't come towards you. They admire you greatly, but it, it's as though if they come forward, you both would be settling and actually it's not the right time for you to come together. But they certainly know who you are. Um, they felt that connection straight away. And it wouldn't surprise me, as I said earlier, it wouldn't surprise me if that chance encounter triggered them to go through um, that dark night of, of the soul, to do some shadow work, to go within. And I feel that as they have done so, they may have been getting messages that is, that's prompting them to take action, the signs and synchronicities to take action, to work on that shadow self. To clarify stuck, we have Queen of Wands. Um, I feel, Sagittarius, this person, interesting, I am getting that this person may be stuck in a rut with another person. Somebody that is um, that has the energy of the Queen of Wands, somebody that is um, independent, beautiful, free spirited. Um, so there may it, this the, the, this may be a third party, but it's as though this chance encounter that they had with you, or they're gonna be having. I feel that they've had some sort of contact with you and there's another encounter coming in that's going to help ground them, root them, encourage them to take the action um, for the dark night of the soul. But I feel that they're stuck in a rut with um, somebody that's got the energy of the Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. The next card out, the Five of Swords, they're absolutely conflicted about this person. They may have thought that this person was um, their soulmate, their twin flame. But actually the encounter or brief, um, whatever it was with you, um, like I say, you may not have even spoken. They may have just seen you, know of you. Um, it's as if they recognised you straight away as part of their tribe. And it's as though, you know, they, it, it's made them, it's triggered them to really look within themselves. And they may be asking you on a soul level to forgive them for this rut that they're in with another person. Clarifying the tribe, you have the uh, Knight of Swords. I feel as though... They themselves may be quite blunt, straight to the point, or they may see you as somebody that's quite blunt and straight to the point. Male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though they're seeing you as the energy of the Knight of Swords. Somebody that is, they do hold in high regard. But it also could mean um, that you may see this person as the Knight of Knight of Swords. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Do you know what? This brief encounter that you had, which I feel there's going to be another one, it's, it was absolutely fated. And what did I say? I felt, I felt that this meeting, this brief encounter that they had with you triggered them, triggered them to get themselves out of a rut with somebody that's got the Queen of um, Wands energy because they have been totally conflicted. They may want to come to you to speak their truth and I feel that it's fated. There's been something, it, it was almost it as if the connection with you and this person was just, it was so sharp, cutting. It, it just, you just could not deny it. And it was because it was fated. 
Please, can you clarify further? Thank you. And signs, and we've got clarifying the signs card. We had the six of wands. Do you know what? This person recognised you straight off the bat, Sagittarius. Absolutely. And I feel that they know for sure that you are the one. You are the one that they want to be with. You are the one that they want to pursue. All this other interest, i.e. this queen of wands energy, um, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's as though they're going to fight for you. They are going to do whatever they need to do to take the action, to do the self-work that needs to be done, get themselves out of a rut with this energy of the Queen of Wands. It could also be you, um, Sagittarius. You could be feeling in a bit of a rut, conflicted over this, this connection with this person. But I do feel as though... I feel it's their energy, but I'm, I I just was prompted to just put it out there that it it, it may be um it it may be you Sagittarius. I don't think it is. Um, I feel it's them that's in a st stuck in a rut with a another person. But they knew you, they knew you right off the bat. And I feel that they want to fight for you. And I feel that chance encounter with you, which there's going to be another one, that they um, want to fight for you. Taking the action that is, because they don't want you to settle for anything less but the best version of themselves. And look, we have the uh, chariot here. Uh, yeah, yeah, the chariot. I feel that they do want to rush in, but they know that they can't, not right now, because they've got the shadow work that needs to do. And look, they've got the shadow work that they need to do before they can rush in. They want to rush in now because they identify you as the one that they want to be with. It is fated, this connection, for sure. And clarifying, admired, they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for the right opportunity to come towards you. They want to rush in, but they know that they can't because if they do, you both will be settling. And, and I feel that they don't want that. They want to be the best version of themselves for you. It's almost as if they need to clear out this energy of whatever stuck in the rut they are that had them all confused. And I feel it was to do with somebody else. They could be involved with somebody else and they know after this brief encounter with you that they want to be with you. And then we have the four. Yeah, they totally want to take a leap of faith with you, a new beginning. They see you as that new love. You know, you are just like the apple of their eye, you know. They just see the beauty, the angelic presence of you they just see your light illuminating and look at that the ace of cups yeah the ace of cups love unconditional love and that is why they won't settle they have too much love for you they want to take that leap of faith and i feel that Whatever this chance encounter was, I feel that they felt you felt the same way because this is reciprocal love. Unspoken, but unconditional. Yeah, and they are using their intuition, knowing that they cannot come towards you with this cup of love because they're going to be settling. You're going to be settling and they don't want that. It's as if they need to sort this stuff out over here before they come to you. I feel that they want to be their best version of themselves. And they may have had messages from their angels to let them know that you are the real deal. Or vice versa, Sagittarius. Take it as it resonates. 
but this is really really powerful in terms of you know if it's somebody that you met on the train or a passing counter or you know you obviously had a profound effect on them that has triggered them awakened them activated them on so many different levels it's just unbelievable because they now want to take the action to do the shadow work that they need to do they don't want to they don't want you to settle um for who they are right now they've got too much love for you and their intuition i feel is guiding them their angels are guiding them they need to do the work in order to come into union with you for sure let's have a look sagittarius what they would like to say to you on a soul level my angels and spirit guides of the divine what would the twin flames of what would the twin flames of sagittarius thank you and the first message from your twin flame something is still missing for me and i'm trying to figure out what that is absolutely and that is the dark night of the soul isn't it they feel stuck something's missing and i almost as feel as though your presence it's as if is this the is this the missing piece is sagittarius that missing piece and i feel they're trying to work it out I feel that they do feel you're on that soul level. They may not fully understand it, but they do know it's fated. They do know that they want to fight for this connection. They do know that they want to come correct. Waiting, being patient, wanting to take that leap of faith over this cup of love. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? Ooh okay and that came out the one on the floor came out first so let's have a look wow look at that you feel like home to me what did i say it's covering the tribe and the signs absolutely whatever this encounter was sagittarius they felt like home straight away they knew that you were part of their tribe 100 percent. next message is it possible to forgive and forget wow so maybe the forgiveness is to do with you and i feel as though the forgiveness that they may be seeking from you is the fact that they they can't come forward to you right now and it's as though they are trying to forgive themselves for whatever shadow work that they've got to do on themselves. But also they are seeking your forgiveness because they see your light. They see your beauty. They admire you. But they cannot come towards you right now. And I feel they're just saying, is it possible for you to forgive and forget once I've kind of got through this dark night of the soul because they don't want to settle they don't want you to settle it's as if it's all about Sagittarius they just want to come correct to you honoring their shadow self because it is revealing mysteries and they are completing it because the action is being taken wow wow my angels and spirit guides, one more message, please, from the twin flame to Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Thank you very, very much. And your final message from your twin flame, I got spooked. Wow. So not only do they not want to settle, um, I feel that they kind of got spooked with the impact of this connection when you first encountered each other. And it's as almost as if that's why they're waiting with the three of wands for this new beginning. Because it's almost as though in their current state, their current situation, this stuck energy that they're in with this um, person that's got the queen of wands energy around them. 
male or female, it doesn't matter. It's as though it totally spooked them. That's why they can't come towards you because they just feel that they, you, they feel that you would be settling for something that isn't their best version of themselves. I know I keep repeating myself, but that's, that's just, that's all that's just coming. I kind of actually feel it for them, actually. I think their intuition is on totally supercharged. I don't know what you've, the connection that you guys must have must be off this chart because it's just like that glance, that brief encounter. You may not have even spoken to this person. You have just totally rocked their world, totally activated them. If they weren't connected to their um, higher self, divine spirit, the universe, I'll tell you something now, they are now and it spooked the hell out of them. Okay, I didn't even answer the question, but Sagittarius, the messages that you would like to give to your twin flame says, you are beautiful and, and sent, you are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to help you remember who you truly are, an eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. How beautiful is that? It's as if, you telling them that, you know what? Do you know, I, I actually feel quite teary with that message. I just feel the emotion. It's, it's as if, you know, you are reassuring them and letting them know that, well, I think you will forgive them. Um, it's as though you're letting them know that, you know, they are beautiful and they do have a sensitive soul and they evidently do because you know what they're really holding back um coming towards you because they like I said earlier it's all about Sagittarius it is all about you Sagittarius they do not want you to settle for this version of themselves and I feel that you're letting them know that they are beautiful and they are a sensitive soul and you get them and just for them to remember that the love divine from divine universe spirit the love that you have for each other it's as though you both came together in order for you in order for them to remember who they truly are which is why i feel that your light is just shining so bright in their eyes and what does it say? Who they truly are, an eternal being of light. It's as though you are reflecting back to them who they are. And that is just pure, pure love. A beautiful and sensitive soul. And it's as though they just knew it as soon as they encountered you. And I feel on a soul level, that is what your soul is saying to their soul. What a, what a beautiful connection. Your second message, Sagittarius, to your twin flame. Love generates love. You will receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days. Keep on loving and you will keep on receiving ever greater blessings in return. You know what? I feel as though you... Sagittarius, I think that you are, you are most definitely connected um, to divine, to your higher self, to spirit, to the universe. And I feel through you, you know, their angels are coming in and you, it, it's as if they're letting them know that they're going to receive those positive confirmations. And that's what it's saying is go within and the angels have special messages they would like to share with you. And I feel that's for them. And I feel that you're just giving them an affirmation of what divine spirit is, is basically saying that the angels are trying to let them know because love generates love. I feel this person as part of their um, dark night of the soul going through 
trying to forgive themselves it's it i feel it's it's as if they need to learn self-love through this process they're obviously going through a major transformation big time your next message sagittarius to your soul uh to your on a soul level to your twin flame says you are who you are because of your history all of it has helped you grow in love and wisdom every experience has blessed you in some way embrace the past and forgive anything that needs forgiving oh my gosh you are totally telling them what they are intuitively with the high priestess picking up And it's almost as even though they may be stuck in the rut, it's as though you're kind of letting them know, don't worry about it because it's made you who you are today and it's taken you on this journey. You know what? You may even know this, this person, the Queen of Wands, and maybe through your acquaintance, friendship, connection with the, this Queen of Wands, put you on the path to meet this twin flame you may not have spoken but i feel that you're reassuring them and, and just letting them know that their past is what's brought them to this stage right now and it's probably what brought you into their life but every experience is a blessing and I feel that you're just letting them know that, you know what, there's a lot of forgiveness going on here. Forgiveness here. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Forgiveness here again. It's as though this the, the, the person that you're connecting with is just, yeah, seeking affirmation that, you know, they're going to be all right. And I feel that that's what you're your soul on a soul level that's exactly what you're telling them and your final message Sagittarius to your twin flame on a soul level says trust in the healing power of love for it is only through love that happiness is possible observe all that transpires but don't get emotionally attached the storm will clear you can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive and i just feel that you know if they obviously got spooked um in this connection not wanting you to settle for you know the current situation that they find themselves in i feel that you are letting them know to just trust in the in the healing of love and I feel that is self-love as well as your love, Sagittarius. Because I feel that that is going to assist them to come to you. And they just need to remain positive. It's almost as if they're having a bit of a pity party a little bit. And you're kind of saying, just stay positive. You know, your light, Sagittarius, is here. It's as though... You know what? I'm not going anywhere. The, the love that I have for you is going to guide you. It's going to guide you through this phase of your of the dark night of the soul. Wow. OK, Sagittarius, I am going to leave that there. I mean, what a powerful um, message It's almost as if it's like love at first sight. Um, and what an interesting journey you and this person are going to be going on. Um, if this resonated for you, Sagittarius, um, I please ask if you can click that thumbs up so that the video can be pushed out to other Sagittarius is out there. Is that even a word? Sagittarius energies out there. Um, if you wish to sub subscribe, um, I welcome that, but it is your choice. But I do recommend that you check out your moon rising and Venus signs simply because it may give you a different perspective, another angle um, to look at this connection. 
Until next week, Sagittarius, I am sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye.